In this video, we're going to take another look at the Carolina Pick 4 Lottery. This time, we're going to be looking at the Any Order uh, game version. In the Any Order version of the lottery, you win if your numbers match the numbers in the drawing, but you win even if they're not in the same order as in the drawing. So, for example, if you pick, let's say, 3, 7, 3, 5, and if at the drawing the numbers that appear are 3, 3, 5, 7, then you would win because you pick two threes, a 7, and a 5, and those are the same numbers that appeared. They just happen to be in a different order. So, in the any order game, this is a win, whereas in the exact order game, this is a loss. Now, at the time of the drawing, there are still 10,000 possible outcomes, because they, they do draw a sequence of four numbers. Um... The order of your selection doesn't matter, and it doesn't determine whether you win, but it's still easier to keep track of what's going on here if you think of the 10,000 possible outcomes just as we did in the exact order case. What changes is the number of winning possibilities you have. Let's pursue this example we started out with here. Let, let's suppose that we do pick um, the digits shown above. 3, 7, 3, 5. How many different ways, how many, how many among these 10,000 possible outcomes, how many of those would be winning outcomes for us? So let's, let's again think of there being four digits that come up at the drawing. For us to win, two of these four spots have to be filled with the digit three because we've picked two threes in our pick. The other two of the four blanks have to be filled by a seven and a five. Those would be the outcomes that win for us. So how many possibilities does that give us for the positions where the two threes would go? We can pick any two of the four blanks as places where the threes would go. How many ways can you choose two blanks from the four available blanks? That's combinations of four things. Choose two, four factorial over two factorial, two factorial is equal to six. So there are six different ways to pick the spots where the threes would go. And for example, if the threes go here and here, that still leaves two other places for the other two numbers to go. So think of that as uh, two possibilities for where to put the seven, and then the five would go the other place. So that's all together the number of possible wins would be equal to six choices for the threes times the two choices for where the seven would go times the one for where the five would go, and that's twelve. Twelve winning outcomes. And remember that altogether there are 10,000 possible outcomes. So we win in 12 of those 10,000 cases, so the probability of winning would be equal to 12 over 10,000 or point zero zero one two. 
Now, this is sort of a complicated game in terms of the rules because the payout depends on what kind of sequence you bet on. In this case, we bet on the sequence 3735, and we determined that that gave us 12 possible ways to win. What the state pays out depends on how many ways there are to win based on the sequence you choose. For the number that we bet, the payout is $400. So let's think what our expected return is. Two things can happen. We either win or lose. If we win, we win $400. In this calculation, I'm going to ignore the ticket price. We'll factor that in later. I'm assuming we're betting a dollar. If we bet a dollar and win, the payout is $400. So the payout is $400, and that's what we get... Um, with probability 0 0.0012. We calculated that was the probability of winning. Uh, if we lose, uh, the payout is zero. I'm neglecting the price of the ticket. Uh, and that probability, it doesn't really matter, but I guess it's 0.9988. Four hundred times point twelve is point four eight, which is dollars. The, the, sec, the second term here is just zero, of course, uh, or forty eight cents. So that's the expected return we get, neglecting our ticket cost. I've not included the ticket cost in this calculation. So we spend a dollar to play the game, and the expected value we then get return for our dollar ticket is 48 cents. So that means that our net loss, once we subtract our ticket price, is the one dollar minus 48 cents or negative 52 cents. So on average, if you play this uh, game repeatedly, betting the way we bet this time, you're at average losing 52 cents every time you bet a dollar.